Isaiah chapter 24 See how Yahweh breaks the land and makes it crack how he turns it upside down and scatters its inhabitants priests and people alike servant and master maid and mistress buyer and seller lender and borrower as it will be with the creditor so will it be with the debtor cracked is the earth worn out is the world for yahweh has spoken the earth mourns and withers the world pines and fades both heaven and earth languish the land lies polluted defiled by its inhabitants who have transgressed the laws violated the ordinances and broken the covenant therefore a curse consumes the land and its people burn for their guilt few of its inhabitants are left the new wine mourns the wine pines away all the revelers groan the merry timbrels are still the noise of the revelers is over the harps and lyres are silenced no more will they drink wine with a song strong drink tastes bitter to the drinker the city of confusion is broken down every door is closed you cannot enter in the streets they cry for wine all joy is gone all cheer has left the land the city is left in distress its ruined market is deserted some remain where nations have been as olives after the beating of the trees as grapes after the vintage they lift up their voices and shout for joy from the vast lands they acclaim yahweh people give him glory from the western islands islands sing to yahweh the god of israel from the remotest part of the earth we hear songs of praise glory to the righteous one yet i said o is me o is me there is but treachery and traitors not at all terror pit and snare await you inhabitants of the earth he who flees at the cry of terror falls into the pit and he who climbs out of the pit gets caught in the snare for the flood gates of heaven are open and the earth shakes to its foundation the earth is broken into fragments the earth is in convulsion the earth reels like a drunkard it sways like a cut in the storm weighed down by its transgression and it falls never to rise again on that day yahweh will punish the host of the heavens above and the kings of the earth below they will be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit they will be shut up in a dungeon and after a time punished then the moon will be confounded and the sun ashamed when yahweh sabaoth reigns on mount sion and in jerusalem and let his glory be shown to his elders isaiah chapter 25 yahweh you are my god i exalt you and praise your name for you have done wonderful things faithful and true planned long ago you have made the city a heap the massively defended city a ruin the bastion of foreign domination is a city no more nor will it ever be rebuilt therefore a strong people glorifies you the head of a great nation holds you in awe for you have been a refuge to the poor a haven to the needy in time of distress a harbor in the storm a shade from the heat for the blast from the ruthless is like an icy storm like heat in a dry place you silence the noise of foreigners you subdue the singing of the despot and the proud on this mountain yahweh sabaoth will prepare for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines meat full of marrow fine wines train on this mountain he will destroy the pall cast over all peoples 
this very shroud spread over all nations and death will be no more the lord yahweh will wipe away the tears from all cheeks and eyes he will take away the humiliation of his people all over the world for yahweh has spoken on that day you will say this is our god we have waited for him to save us let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation for on this mountain the hand of yahweh rests moab instead will be trodden down as straw trodden down on a dunghill he will stretch forth his hands there as a swimmer spreads out his hands to swim but yahweh will strike down their pride together with their falsehood he will raise the high walled fortress he will level it to the ground as dust isaiah chapter 26 on that day this song will be sung in the land of juda we have a strong city he himself has set up walls and fortifications to protect us open the gates let the righteous nation enter she who is firm in faithfulness you keep in perfect peace the one of steadfast mind the one who trusts in you trust in yahweh forever for yahweh is an everlasting rock he brought down those who dwell on high he laid low the lofty city he raised it to the ground leveled it to the dust now it is trampled the poor and the lowly tread upon it let the righteous walk in righteousness you make smooth the path of the just and we only seek the way of your laws o yahweh your name and your memory are the desire of our hearts my soul yearns for you in the night for you my spirit keeps vigil when your judgments come to earth the world's inhabitants learn to be upright but when favor is shown to the wicked he does not learn to be just he does evil in a land of righteousness and fails to see yahweh's majesty yahweh your hand is lifted up but they fail to see that let them see your zeal for your people that they may be put to shame let your enemies be burned in the fire of your anger yahweh please give us peace for all that we accomplish is your work o yahweh our god other lords besides you have ruled us but it is your name alone that we honor they are now dead never to rise again for you have passed sentence on them you have wiped out all remembrance of them you have enlarged the nation o yahweh you have given glory to your name you have widened the borders of the country for they sought you in distress they cried out to you in the time of their punishment as a woman in travail moans and writhes in pain so are we now in your presence we conceived we had labor pains but we gave birth to the wind we have not brought salvation to the land the inhabitants of your new world have not been born your dead will live their corpses will rise awake and sing you who lie in the dust let your dew fall o lord like a dew of light and the earth will throw out her dead come my people enter your rooms and shut the doors behind you hide yourselves for a moment until his wrath is over for look yahweh is coming out of his dwelling he will punish the inhabitants of the earth for their sins the earth will reveal the blood shed upon her and will not conceal her slain any longer Isaiah chapter 27 On that day with his fierce strong and powerful sword Yahweh will punish Leviathan the twisting serpent always fleeing he will slay the dragon of the sea on that day he will say praise my fruitful vineyard i Yahweh am its keeper i water it every moment so that no one will harm it day and night i guard it i have no wall who will cleanse me from thorns i myself will march against them 
I will burn them all together. Or if they come to me for refuge, let them make peace with me. Yes, let them make peace with me. In days to come, Jacob will take root, Israel will blossom and bear many a shoot and fill the face of the earth with fruit. Has Yahweh beaten them as he beat those who beat them? Has he slain them as he slew those who slew them? With expulsion and exile, the city has been punished. With a blast as fierce as a storm from the east, she has been pursued and carried off. By this, therefore, the guilt of Jacob will be expiated, and he will atone for his sins. When he pulverizes all the altar stones, like chalk stones crushed to pieces, no more Asherah poles or incense altars, for the fortified city is abandoned. It lies deserted now, a forsaken habitation left like a wilderness. There the cows graze, there they lie down, and there they strip bare its branches, its dry boughs are broken. Women come and make fire with them. This is a people without understanding. Therefore their Maker will not spare them. He will not show compassion on them. On that day, between the Euphrates and the Wadi of Egypt, Yahweh will thrash out the grain. One by one you will be gleaned, O people of Israel. On that day, a great trumpet will blow, and those who are perishing in the land of Assyria, and those who are driven out to the land of Egypt, will return to worship the Lord on the mountain in Jerusalem. Isaiah chapter 28 Woe to the drunkards of Ephraim, proudly adorned, to that fading flower of luxurious beauty. On the head of a rich valley, all are dizzy with wine. Look, the Lord is sending a powerful and strong one, like a downpour of hail, like a destructive tempest, like flooding water in torrential rain. He will cast it down to the ground. That proud ornament of the drunkards of your prime, he will trample it underfoot. That fading flower of glorious beauty on the head of a rich valley, it will be like an early fruit which ripened before summer. As soon as someone sees it, he picks it, and while it is yet in his hand, he eats it. On that day, Yahweh Sambavoth will be a glorious ornament, a diadem of beauty to the remnant of his people. He will be a spirit of justice to him who sits in judgment, a source of strength to those who turn back the enemies at the gate. But they also have erred through wine, reeling and stumbling from strong drink. Priests and prophets stagger, befuddled with wine, reeling when seeing visions, stumbling when rendering decisions. All the tables are full of vomit. There is not a spot without filth. Who does he think he is teaching? Who does he think listens to him? Babies just weaned from their mother's milk? Babies just taken from their mother's breast? Who cares to hear his, keep quiet, keep quiet, wait a little, wait a little? Yes, surely with stammering lips and in a strange tongue, he will talk to this nation. He who once said to them, This is rest, give rest to the weary, and this is repose, but they would not listen. That is why Yahweh now says, Keep quiet, keep quiet, wait a little, wait a little, so that when they have to go forward, they will instead fall backward. They will be injured and snared and taken captive. Therefore, listen to the word of Yahweh, you scoffers who rule these people of Jerusalem, because you make a boast. We have made a covenant with death. We have made a pact with the netherworld. When the flood passes by, it cannot harm us. For we have made lies our refuge, 
and falsehood are hiding place therefore the lord yahweh says this see i lay in sion a granite stone a precious stone a sure foundation he who relies on it shall not be put to shame i will make justice the measure and righteousness the plumb line violent hail will sweep away your refuge of lies and raging waters will overflow your hiding place your covenant with death will not stand your pact with the nether world will be annulled when the overwhelming flood passes you will be crushed by it morning after morning by day and by night the scourge will seize and crush you if you understood this message you would be terrified the bed will be too short to stretch out on the blanket too narrow to wrap around you yahweh will arise as on mount parasim he will rouse himself as in the valley of gibeon to work his work his singular work to do his deed a strange deed put an end to your mocking or your bonds will be lightened for i have heard the destruction decreed against the whole earth by the lord yahweh sabaoth listen to my words pay attention and understand what i say does the plowman do nothing but plow loosen the earth pulverize the clods with a harrow after leveling the soil does he not begin to sow caraway and scatter cumin wheat and barley and put spelt as the border for his god instructs him on what to do he gives him guidance and discretion too for caraway is not threshed nor cumin crushed but caraway is beaten with a stick and cumin with a rod is the wheat milled on the threshing floor is it threshed without end they put in movement chariot and horses but do not grind it all comes from yahweh sabaoth whose advice is excellent whose wisdom is wonderful isaiah chapter 29 oh to ariel ariel the city against which david encamped after a year or two after the feast have made their full round i will see john ariel and there will be grief and mourning to me she will be like an ariel i will send warriors against you they will encircle you with outposts and raise siege works against you thrown down you will speak from the ground from the dust your words will come muffled your voice will rise as a ghost your speech will be a whisper in the dust but in a flash the horde of your enemies will be like dust the horde of tyrants flying chaff for suddenly yahweh sabaoth will come with thunder earthquake and great noise with whirlwind and thunderstorm and flames of consuming fire the hordes of all nations that fight against ariel that attack and besiege our fortress will vanish like a dream like a vision in the night as when a hungry man dreams he is eating and awakens with an empty stomach or when a thirsty man dreams he is drinking and awakens with a parched throat so will the horde of nations be that make war against sion but irresolute be stupefied lose your sight and remain blind be drunk but not from wine stagger but not from beer for yahweh has poured out on you a spirit of deep sleep he has shut your eyes the prophets he has covered your heads the seers the revelation of all this has become for you like the words of your sealed scroll when someone gives it to another who knows how to read and says read this the other one answers i cannot it is sealed when the scroll is given to one who doesn't know how to read he answers i do not know yahweh has said these people approach me in words they honor me with lip service 
while their hearts stay afar the worship they offer me is useless these are no more than traditions and human rules because of this i will surprise them once more the wisdom of the wise will be useless and the understanding of their prudent men will be at a loss what to those who hide deep from yahweh their plans who work in the dark can say who will know and who will see us you turn things upside down as though the potter were the clay and of him it could say he did not make me he knows nothing in a very short time lebanon will become a fruitful field and the fruitful field will be as a forest on that day the deaf will hear the words of the book and out of the dark and obscurity the eyes of the blind will see the meek will find joy and the poor among men will rejoice in the holy one of israel for the tyrant will be no more and the scoffers gone forever and all who plan to do evil will be cut down those who by a word make you guilty those who for a bribe can lay a snare and send home the just empty handed therefore yahweh abraham's redeemer speaks concerning the people of jacob no longer will jacob be ashamed no longer will his face grow pale when he sees the work of my hands his children again in his midst they will sanctify by name they will sanctify the holy one of jacob and stand in awe of the god of israel those who err in spirit will understand those who murmur will learn isaiah chapter 30 Woe to the rebellious children, says the Lord. They make plans which are not mine. They form alliances I did not inspire, and thus add sin upon sin. They go down to Egypt without my advice to take refuge in Pharaoh's protection and seek shelter in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, Pharaoh's protection will be your shame and Egypt's shadow your confusion. When your officials reach Zoan and your ambassadors come to Hanes, they will all be put to shame by a people who can do nothing for them, who can give neither help nor benefit, but only disgrace and reproach. An oracle concerning the beasts of the Negev through a distressed and troubled land lions and lionesses of vipers and darting snakes the envoys carry their riches upon the shoulders of young asses their treasures upon the humps of camels to a people that is of no use to them egypt an illusory and useless help because of that i call it scarecrow the do nothing now go write it down as a record for them inscribe it on a scroll so it will be an everlasting accusation against them these are a rebellious people they are children deceitful they do not listen to yahweh's advice to the seers they say see not and to the prophets do not prophesy the truth just tell us pleasant things see illusions and prophesy deceits stray from the path turn from the way take away from us the holy one of israel therefore the holy one of israel says because you despised this message and resorted instead to lies and abuse your taxes choosing to stay with it therefore this guilt of yours will be like a breach on a high wall cracked and bulging ready to fall the crash will come suddenly and instantly it will be like the breaking of a potter's vessel smashed ruthlessly that among its fragments 
not one sword remains big enough to scoop cinder out of the heart or ladle water out of the cistern for thus said the lord yahweh the holy one of israel conversion and calmness would have been your salvation quietness and trust your strength but instead you said no we will flee on horses very well then flee and you added we will hide on swift steeds your pursuer will be swifter at the threat of one a thousand will flee at the threat of five all will flee till what is left of you will be like a staff on your mountain top like a banner on your hill yet yahweh wants to give you grace he rises to show you compassion for yahweh is a god of justice blessed are all who wait for him o people of sion who dwell in jerusalem you will weep no more when you cry he will listen when he hears he will answer when the lord has given you the bread of anguish and the water of distress he your teacher will hide no longer your own eyes will see him and your ear will listen to his words behind you this is the way walk on it you will see the uncleanliness of your idols and images overlaid with silver and gold you will throw them out like a menstrual cloth away with you then you will say to them he will then give rain for the seed you sow and make the harvest abundant from the crops you grow on that day your cattle will graze in wild pastures your beasts of burden will eat silage tossed up to them with pitchfork and shovel for on the day of the great slaughter when fortresses fall streams of water will flow on every mountain and lofty hill the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun and the light of the sun seven times greater like the light of seven days when yahweh binds up the wounds of his people and heals the bruises inflicted by his blows look from afar the name of yahweh is coming burning in anger with a heavy hand filled with fury are his lips like a consuming fire is his tongue like a rushing torrent is his breath rising up to the neck shaking the nations as in a sea of destruction putting the bit of his bridle between the jaws of the peoples causing them to err and stray you will sing as on the night of your holy solemnity your hearts will rejoice as when people go up with flutes with timbrel and lyres to the mountain of the lord to the mighty one of israel yahweh will make his majestic voice heard and show his arm descending in devastating fury and consuming fire with sweeping wind and crashing thunder at the voice of yahweh assyria will be battered at the blows of his rod it will be shattered with every beat of the punishing rod the plagues will fall on him for yahweh will fight him with outstretched hand the pyre has long been ready prepared for the king broad and deep is its fire pit piled up with dry grass and wood the breath of the lord like a stream of brimstone will set it ablaze isaiah chapter 31 what to those who go down to egypt for help who pin their hopes on cavalry putting their trust in chariots because they are many relying on horsemen because they are strong 
why did they not look to the holy one of israel or consult yahweh and yet he is very wise and from him disaster will come he does not go back on his word he will rise against the evil doers and cut off the help the wicked waited the egyptians are men not god their horses are flesh not spirit when yahweh stretches forth his hand the helper and the one he help will fall and perish together for thus the lord has spoken just as a lion or a lion cub growls over its prey and is neither frightened nor disturbed by the shouts of the shepherd so will yahweh sabaoth descend to fight on mount sion like birds that hover so will yahweh sabaoth shield jerusalem he will protect and deliver rescue and save return o children of israel to him you have so wickedly betrayed on that day each one of you will throw away the idols of silver and gold that his sinful hands have made assyria will fall by a sword not wielded by a man they will be devoured by a sword not held by a mortal they will flee before the sword their young men will be captured and put to forced labor they will desert their post and the officers in terror will abandon the standard it is yahweh who speaks whose fire is in sion and whose furnace is in jerusalem isaiah chapter 32 a king will reign with justice and princes reign in righteousness each will be like a shield from the wind and a shelter from the rain like streams of water in a dry parched land like the shades of a rock in a weary land the eyes that see will not be shut the ears that hear will not be stopped the mind of the rash will not judge hastily the tongue that stammers will speak clearly no more will the fool be taken as noble nor the scoundrel considered honorable for the fool speaks folly and his mind thinks sinfully he practices wickedness and takes pride in godlessness he lets the hungry go without food and the thirsty without drink the ways of the scoundrel are also evil scheming wickedly against the poor destroying the needy with lies even when their plea is just but those who are noble plan noble things and so are their deeds rise up women who are at ease hear my voice carefree daughters give heed to my words in a little over a year you who feel complacent will be shaken for harvest will not come and the vintage will fail tremble you women who are at ease be troubled you carefree ones strip yourselves bare with only a sackcloth to cover your loins beat your breasts for the pleasant fields for the fruitful wine for the soil of my people overgrown with briars and thorns for all the houses of joy for the city of the wanton for the palace will be abandoned and the noisy city deserted the fort and the tower will become dense forever the delight of wild asses a pasture for flocks when at last the spirit is poured on us from on high then will the desert become a garden and this garden will be free as a fallow land justice will dwell in the wilderness and in the fertile land righteousness 
justice will bring about peace justice will produce calm and security forever my people will live in comfort and bliss in a land of secure dwellings and undisturbed resting places while the forest will be beaten down and the fortress laid waste how blessed you will be sowing by every stream letting your work animals roam contented and free Isaiah chapter 33 What to you O ravager who never have been ravaged you O treacherous one who have not been betrayed when you are ravaging is over you yourself will be ravaged when your treacherous deals are ended you yourself will be betrayed O Yahweh mercy on us who put all our hope in you be our strength every morning our salvation when trouble comes peoples flee when you thunder and threaten nations scatter when you rise majestically your spoils o nations will be gathered like grasshoppers or locusts leaping and pouncing at grain in the fields great is yahweh who dwells in the height who fills Zion with justice and right. At any time, He makes you secure. Wisdom and knowledge are the helpful riches. The fear of Yahweh will be your treasure. The people of Ariel lament in the street. Their envoys of peace bitterly weep. The highways lie waste with no traveler in sight. For the covenants were broken, the promise is trampled down no one has been respected the earth mourns and languishes lebanon withers away with shame sharon has become wilderness and bashan and carmel are stripped bare yahweh says now i will rise up now i will be exalted now i will lift myself up you conceived chaff you will deliver stubble my breath like fire will devour you the nations will be burned to lime like thorns cut down and burned in the fire you who are afar hear what i have done and you who are near acknowledge my right the sinners of sion shake trembling in fear of the hypocrites who among us will dwell with flames who can subsist in the midst of fire He who walks uprightly and speaks righteously spurns profit from oppression shakes his fists at graft and corrupt stops his ears against suggestions of bloodshed and averts his eyes from evil plans this is the one who will dwell on the heights a stronghold a fortress of rocks bread is given to him his water will not fail your eyes will be called a king in his splendor and a land that stretches afar yet your mind may still dwell on its old fears where is the oppressor who counted and weighed the taxes and enrolled our sons but you will see no more of those fierce people with obscure speech you cannot comprehend with stammering tongue you cannot understand look to sion the city of our festivals see jerusalem a peaceful abode a tabernacle never to be destroyed not one of its stakes will ever be removed nor any of its ropes severed but there is yahweh mighty for our sake in place of broad rivers and streams Here you see no galley with oars no stately sailing ship but Yahweh is our judge Yahweh is our king he will save us you are reeking hangs loose it cannot hold the mast firm it cannot keep the sail spread out such have been the prey and spoil that even the lame pounced on it 
on that day no one apologized i am sickly the people who dwell there have been forgiven their sins isaiah chapter 34 come o nations hear and take heed o peoples listen o earth and all that is in you listen o world and all that comes from you the wrath of yahweh is upon all nations his fury is upon all their armies he has doomed them he has given them over for slaughter their slain will be thrown away stench coming from the carcasses mountains will flow with blood the heavens will dissolve and the skies roll up like a scroll all their hosts shall fall as a leaf falls from its vine as the fruit falls from its tree my sword waited in the heavens and look it descends upon edom to judge the people i have doomed the sword of yahweh is bathed in blood and covered with fat the blood of goats and lambs the fat of the saddle of rams for yahweh has a sacrifice in bosra a great slaughter in the land of edom wild oxen will fall and young steers with the bulls their land will be drenched with blood their soil enriched with fat for yahweh has a day of vengeance science defender has a year of recompense the streams of edom will become pit her soil will be turned into brimstone her land will be burning pit never will its fire be quenched night or day forever will its smoke go up from generation to generation the land will lie desolate and none will ever pass through it it will be the haunt of pelican and wild hog the dwelling place of the owl and the hawk god has decided to make it empty he has destined it to be desolate there will be no more kings to be proclaimed no princes to be acclaimed for the nobility will vanish in a kingdom doomed to perish thorns will grow over the castles nettles and brambles over the citadels the place will be a haunt of reptiles and a board of owls and ostriches wild beasts will meet there wild goats will call to one another there will the night creatures alight to find for themselves a resting place there will the great owl make her nest to lay and hatch and also find rest there will the vultures gather each with its mate see can read from the book of yahweh not one of them will be missing for his mouth has given the order and his spirit has brought them together he has caused the lot for them his hand has divided it among them they will possess the land forever and from generation to generation they shall dwell there isaiah chapter 35 Let the wilderness and the arid land rejoice the desert be glad and blossom covered with flowers it sings and shouts with joy adorned with the splendor of Lebanon the magnificence of Carmel and Sharon they my people see the glory of Yahweh the majesty of our God give vigor to weary lands and strength to enfeebled knees say to those who are afraid have courage do not fear see your god comes demanding justice he is the god who rewards the god who comes to save you then will the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unsealed then will the lame leap as a harp and the tongue of the dumb sing and shout for water will break out in the wilderness and streams gut forth from the desert 
the thirsty ground will become a pool the arid land springs of water in the horns where once reptiles lay grass will grow with reeds and rushes there will be a highway which will be called the way of holiness no one unclean will pass over it nor any wicked fool stray there no lion will be found there nor any beast of prey only the redeemed will walk there for the ransomed of yahweh will return with everlasting joy upon their heads they will come to sion singing gladness and joy marching with them while sorrow and sighing flee away isaiah chapter 36 in the 14th year of king ezekiah's reign sennacherib king of assyria attacked all the fortified cities of judah and captured them from lachish the king of assyria sent his field commander with a large army to king hezekiah in jerusalem they halted at the channel of the upper pool on the highway of the fullers so elia came son of hilkia the palace administrator went out to him together with shebna the secretary and joah son of asaph the recorder the field commander said to them give hezekiah this message of the great king of assyria how can you be so confident do you think words can replace strategy and military strength on whom are you relying to rebel against me you rely on egypt a broken staff which pierces the palm of him who leans on it such is pharaoh king of egypt for all who rely on him yes you may say to me we rely on yahweh our god but isn't he the one who salters and i places hezekiah removed when he commanded judah and jerusalem you shall worship before this altar come now make a bargain with my master the king i will give you 2000 horses if you are able to supply riders how could you ever repulse one of the least of my master's generals and you rely on egypt for chariots and horsemen do you think that i have come to attack and destroy this land without consulting yahweh he himself said to me go up to this land and conquer it then elia came and shebna and jova said to the field commander speak to your servants in aramaic we understand it do not speak to us in hebrew in the hearing of these people on the walls but the field commander said do you think that my master sent me to speak these words only to your master and you isn't it also to the men on the walls who with you will have to eat their own dung and drink their urine then the field commander stood and cried out with a loud voice in hebrew hear the words of the great king of assyria do not let hezekiah deceive you no he will not be able to help you do not listen to him when he tells you to trust in yahweh saying yahweh will save us this city will not be given over to the king of assyria do not listen to hezekiah but to what the king of assyria says make your peace with me and surrender so i will let each of you eat of your wine and of your fig tree and drink the water of your cistern until i come again then i will take you to a land like your own land a land of grain and new wine of bread and vineyards Hezekiah is misleading you when he says that Yahweh will save you. Have the gods of the nations rescued their lands from the hands of the king of Assyria? Where are the gods of Hamath and Arpad? Where are the gods of Shepharvaim? 
and have the gods delivered samaria from my hand who among all the gods of these nations has been able to save this country from me do you think that yahweh could deliver jerusalem from my hand the people were like deaf and remained silent for the king had commanded them not to answer him then elia came with shebna and jova came to hesekiah with their cloths torn and told him what the field commander had said isaiah chapter 37 when king hesekiah heard this he tore his cloths covered himself with sackcloth and went to the house of yahweh he sent eliakim shebna and the elders among the priests all wearing sackcloth to the prophet isaiah son of amos and they said to isaiah this is what hesekiah says Today is a day of distress rebuke and disgrace as when children come to birth and there is no strength to deliver may your god hear the words of the field commander whom his master the king of assyria has sent may yahweh your god rebuke him for the words he said insulting the living god therefore offer your prayer for the few of us that are left When King Hesekiah's officials came to Isaiah he said to them tell your master this word of Yahweh do not fear because of what you heard when the servants of the king of Assyria insulted me listen i will let him be disturbed by certain news so he will return to his country and there i will have him slain by the sword the field commander returned and found the king of assyria fighting against libna for he had heard that the king had left lachish this was because king sennacherib had heard that tirhaka the cushite king of egypt was going out to fight him again sennacherib sent messengers to hesekia with these words Say to Hesekiah king of Judah that his god in whom he trusts might deceive him in saying that Jerusalem will not be given into the hands of the king of Assyria Surely you have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all the lands they have destroyed and will you be spared have the gods saved the nations that my fathers destroyed Goshen and Haran received and the sons of Eden who were in Telassar where is the king of Hamath the king of Harpar the kings of the cities of Shepharvaim of Hena and of Hiva Hesekiah took the letter from the messengers and when he had read it he went to the house of Yahweh where he unrolled the letter and prayed saying O Yahweh God of hosts and God of Israel enthroned above the cherubim you alone are God over all the kingdoms of the earth give ear Yahweh and hear open your eyes and see listen to all the words of Sennacherib who has sent men to insult the living God it is true Yahweh that the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the countries of the earth they have thrown their gods into the fire and destroyed them for they were not true gods but made of wood and stone by human hands now o yahweh our god save us from his hand and let all the kingdoms of the earth know that you alone yahweh are god then isaiah son of amos sent word to hesekiah You have called upon Yahweh and he has heard your prayer regarding Sennacherib king of Assyria this is what Yahweh has spoken against him the virgin daughter of Zion despises and scorns you the daughter of Jerusalem shakes her head behind you whom have you insulted and blasphemed against whom have you raised your voice 
and lifted up your brow against the holy one of Israel through your servants you have insulted Yahweh for you have said with my numerous chariots i have climbed the heights of the mountains the topmost recesses of lebanon i have felled its tallest cedars and its choicest fir trees i have reached the remotest heights of its border the best of its forests i have dug wells and drunk waters i dried up with the sole of my foot all the streams of egypt but have you not heard how i decreed it long ago i have just brought to pass what i planned from days of old to lay waste fortified cities to turn them into heaps of ruins shorn of power their inhabitants have been dismayed and confounded they have been as the grass and green plants in the field as the grass on the house tops as corn scorched before it blooms i know whenever you rise or set whenever you come or go because of your rage against me and of your arrogance that has reached my ears i will put my hook in your nose and my bridle in your mouth and i will turn you back on the way by which you came this will be a sign for you o hesekia this year you will eat the gleaning of the fields and next year the self sown grain but in the third year sow and reap plant vines and eat the fruit a remnant of the people of judah shall take root below and produce fruit above for a remnant will come from jerusalem and survivors from mount sion the zeal of yahweh of hosts will accomplish this that is why yahweh has spoken concerning the king of assyria he shall not enter this city nor shoot his arrows he shall not raise a shield to oppose it nor build a siege ramp against it he shall leave by the way he came and he shall not enter the city word of yahweh i will protect this city and so save it for my own sake and for the sake of david my servant that night the angel of yahweh went and struck 185000 men in the assyrian camp when the people rose early next morning there lay all the corpses so sennacherib king of assyria departed returned home and lived in ninive while he was worshiping in the temple of his god nisroj his sons adramelek and charis slew him with the sword and then escaped to the land of ararat and esarhadon his son succeeded him as king isaiah chapter 38 in those days hesekiah fell mortally ill and the prophet isaiah son of amos went to him with a message from yahweh put your house in order for you shall die you shall not live hesekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to yahweh O oh Yahweh remember how I have walked before you in truth and wholeheartedly and done what is good in your sight and Hezekiah wept bitterly then the word of Yahweh came to Isaiah go and tell Hezekiah what Yahweh the God of his father David says I have heard your prayer and I have seen your tears see I am adding 15 years to your life and I will save you and this city from the power of the king of Assyria I will defend it for my sake and for the sake of David my servant Hezekiah asked what is the sign that I shall go up to the house of the Lord Isaiah answered this shall be for you a sign from Yahweh that he will do what he has promised see i shall make the shadow descending on the stairway of ahas go back 10 steps so the sunlight went back 
the ten steps it had covered on the stairway. Isaiah then said, Bring a fig cake to rub on the ulcer and let Hezekiah be cured. Canticle of Hezekiah, king of Judah, after his illness and recovery. Once I said, In the noon time of my life I go. I am sent to the land of the dead. For the rest of my years, I said, Never again shall I see Yahweh in the land of the living. Never again shall I see the inhabitants of the earth. Like a shepherd's tent, my dwelling has been pulled down and thrown away. Like a weaver, you rolled up my life and cut it from the loom. From day to night, you made me waste away. I have cried for help until morning. Like a lion, he has broken all my bones. I have uttered shrill cries, like a swallow or a crane. I have moaned like a dove. My eyes all the while are growing weary. As I look up to the heavens, come and help me, O Lord, for I am troubled. But how can I speak? And what shall I say to him? If he himself is doing this to me, I will have to walk all my years, bearing this anguish of my soul. O Lord, give me back my health, and give me back my life. My anguish has turned to peace. You have retrieved my life from the pit of corruption. You have cast all my sins behind you. For the dead cannot give you thanks. Death cannot give you praise. Those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your kindness. The living, the living alone can give you thanks and praise, as I do. Fathers will tell their sons of your fidelity. O Yahweh, come and save me. We will sing, accompanied by harps, in the temple of Yahweh. all the days of our life. Isaiah chapter 39 At that time, Merodach Baladan, son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent letters and a gift to Hezekiah after hearing that he was recovering from an illness. Hezekiah was pleased and showed the envoys all that was in his treasure house. the silver gold spices and fine oil his entire armory and all that was in his treasury in fact there was nothing in his palace or in his kingdom that ezekiah did not show them isaiah the prophet came to ezekiah and asked him what did these men say and from where did they come ezekiah answered They came to me from a distant country, from Babylon. And Isaiah said, What have they seen in your palace? Ezekiah replied, They have seen everything in my palace. There is nothing among my treasures that I did not show them. Isaiah then said, Hear this word of Yahweh, the God of hosts. Behold, the days are coming when all that is in your palace is and which your fathers have treasured to this day will be carried off to Babylon. Nothing will be left. And some of your descendants born of you will be taken and will become eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Ezekiah then said to Isaiah, The word of Yahweh which you have spoken to me is good. For he thought, There will be peace and truth in my lifetime. 